Hello and welcome to another video. The channel is back with another how-to series and in this series we're looking at this long wheelbase Fiat Doblo. It's on a 2015 plate, it's a 1.6 turbo diesel and it's the maxi version as well. So in this series I'm going to be covering uh, this conversion from literally from start to finish. At the moment as it is, there's nothing been stripped out of the back, so we're literally going right from the very beginning, and we're going to take this through right to the end. I'm not going to stray too far away from the layouts that I've done before on the micro campus, because I really do like that layout. Um, but there are going to be some changes along the way, and I'm going to go through them processes as, as we get through, but the biggest change and the biggest challenge that I've set myself on this conversion is going to be the roof. Um, now, in, in previous ones, I have made a mould, for this particular vehicle um, which I, I think I may have showed you uh, once before um, but I, I'm going to put a little twist on this one um, the, the, the roof that goes on them normally uh, gives you that extra head height but doesn't give, give you that in, in, enough space to stand up properly um, it's, it's perfectly comfortable while you're sat but I always feel that there's that extra bit that need, needs to go on um, when I've looked at some of the other videos uh, that people have commented on and liked and things like that, the elevator uh, that I did on the micro campus uh, was very, very popular. So I kind of wanted to bring that into play with this conversion. But a bit of, a, bit of a twist with it. Uh, that, that elevator, and it's really the only one that's available for the Doblo, didn't, it doesn't quite work with this layout. And I wanted to stick to this layout because I really do like the layout. It looks a lot more spacious for a micro camper, but... Uh, I'm going to be turning that roof that I made, and I'm going to be turning it into an electric roof. Um, it's not been done before, um, but I've got some, I think, good ideas for it, and we're going to see how that one works out. But literally, we're going to set the camera up now, and we're going to take this right from the beginning. Right, okay, so this is what we're starting with. So this is the rear of the vehicle. As you can see, this is a, a crew cab type vehicle. Uh, so we've got sliding doors both sides they've opened both internally from the inside as well uh, we've got the three seats there they've got to come out uh, we've got the plastics to the side i think we've got some speakers in here as well uh, we've got seat belts and plastics uh, we've got the headlining in this one which we've not had before and obviously we've got uh, some ply lining here as well nothing down on the floor uh, and at the front as well we have got that footwell now we're on a commercial vehicle we wouldn't have that so I'm going to try and utilize that and make a bit more storage out of it um, we've got some uh, panel here all this is going to come off I'm going to be making fresh patterns for all this all these will be covered the plastics uh, mm -hmm. as well the metal um, but yeah I'm going to set the uh, the camera up and we're going to have a look at stripping this out <music>
Right, okay, so we've got a uh, blank canvas now. Uh, we've got all the trimmings off, uh, all the door cards and everything else, so it's going to give us an opportunity to get in here, give it a good clean, uh, get the insulation in. Obviously, we've got windows going in here as well. Um, as you can see behind, it's a bit uh, a bit dusty, so all this needs cleaning up. Um, it needs properly going over and uh, cleaning properly so that the, that the glue, when I put the, the carpet on, will stick properly. Exactly the same thing with the floor. This is going to have to have a good clean because uh, the Sikaflex, when I bond it down, is going to have to. It's going to need something to, to bond down too cleanly. Um, got all the trimmings off. Got all the. Um, seatbelt points off. It has left me with a few bits that I've still got to get rid of. Uh, some parts here that aren't normally on the commercial side of it. Um, the plastics, obviously these all these bits and pieces are going to have to come out as well. Um, obviously we've got, uh, got a good look at what the roof uh, is now. Well, we've got the headlining down. This point here this is where we're going to be cutting our roof off um, so we can uh, get the, uh, the electric elevating roof on. Uh, we've got the door cards off there as well. Gives us a, a good thing to get the insulation in there as well. We've got the other one off. Uh, this is what I was on about. Um, we've got the the part here where it dips down where it would normally be the footwell, which this would normally continue straight across and finish. But um, I'm going to see this as a good thing because obviously we've got that, that extra space now. We could probably utilise this. And get a little bit more storage. Uh, this is going to have to be cut back, I think. Uh, looking at the top here, I've cut this back. That part there, that lip, is where we're going to be cutting to. But I've just left a little bit of excess on there, just in case um, I decide to trim it differently. So I would have thought some of this would be would have been cut back anyway, um, but I didn't want to cut too much off just in case I. Uh, I took too much off but this is what we're looking like so I've left the rubbers on for the minute because uh, obviously it only shut on the doors and things like that but um, I'm going to have a look at making some patterns uh, for the floor um, I'm going to make them out of quarter ply and then transfer them onto a piece of half inch so I get a, a good clean fit uh, it's the same with the door surround uh, the window surround sorry on these I'm going to make some patterns for that um, just have a quick look at the cab actually I didn't show this at the beginning. Very nice, really. Um, very car like, obviously, being the, the micro camper as well. Um, got a 12 volt plug in point there, a couple of cup holders, loads of little cubby holes and storage, little compartments and things like that. So, a nice cab area. So, um, we'll leave it at that for this one. Uh, next one we're probably going to be looking at cutting the windows out, probably cutting the roof out. We'll get some patterns made for, for different things and we'll start looking at fitting a few bits and pieces. But uh, for now, uh, many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comment section down below. You can send an email over, which whatever is easiest for you. But many thanks for watching. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.